Good morning, YouTube. We are out here in Lebanon, Missouri at the Raptor M Arena, and we're at a special catalog sale. So let me tell you the difference between a regular monthly horse sale and a special catalog sale. A lot of times the special catalog sales are going to be big enough where you can actually see the horse work and move, and it's not like a monthly sale. So these are the higher end quality horses that are um, set up and trained, ready to come to this sale. They know about it months in advance. It's not just like a spur of the moment sale. There will be no kill pin horses here. Everything here will be a high quality horse trying to bring top dollar. So you don't have to worry about the uh, horses going to you know a kill pin or going out of, out of the country. Everything here should be going to either somebody to take it to a client or to a family themselves. So let's go take a look. The sale starts in about two hours. We're gonna go around, we're gonna get a catalog, get a bidder's number. I'm not really looking to buy today. I have a friend that's looking for a horse and I'm trying to help him find one. Uh, so let's go see what's available. Look at that beautiful horse. I seen that one in the catalog. 3815. We have another development. My wife is busy on prom duty and I have my sister, Lisa, <laughs> owner of Tootsie here. So this is gonna be an interesting video because she's crazier than a two peckered billy goat. Well, hopefully we got enough light in here to video. Oh man, look at this little guy, he's cute. Uh -huh. Hi bud, hi. Are you friendly? Here Lise, take the camera. Nice little pony. Yeah, you're a good looking dude. Let's go on down the line. I like the way this auction is set up because the sellers have the option of tying out to this picket line or using stalls in the next barn over. But then this area is a big arena and you'll notice people taking care and grooming their horses and th with the big arena, Everybody has enough space to ride their horse and let potential buyers ask questions and watch their horse be ri ridden before the sale starts. Ooh, look at these two. There's some really nice color. That's kind of a unique color for an Appaloosa. And the paint is very pretty. Ride right into her own. Very nice looking horses so far. Maybe not the best confirmation, but very nice looking. And then here's a nice gray that is built pretty well. Younger horse, so you can tell. I do love a gray. This mare, I'm not too sure about this mare being nice looking. I think her confirmation's thrown off because she's at rest. So she looks pretty calm, which is a nice sign. But this dark horse is built really well. Look for 18 and 19. 3818 and 3819. As usual, I'm only looking for registered Missouri Foxtrotters, although I am quickly becoming a Clydesdale guy. We both did the exact same thing when we went Must be sisters. Here's a good look at the arena where the horses can be ridden before the sale starts. I'm hoping to find the mare that I'm interested in out here. And here she is, isn't she pretty? I love a bay. It was always my favorite color growing up as a kid. Got a really is, pretty head. Thank you. I, you know, I love her, but we just we have way too many horses at home. And so, right, what's your dad's go. name? Kenny Line. Oh, okay. I yeah. know. I know. Yeah. And then this is her baby. Yeah. Um, nine months old, bred to Legends Game Over. Okay. Um, we exposed her to the stud. Um, she was at 21 days in foal, but we didn't take her back in her bed For her to drop in June, she don't look very big to us. Out of the field, got on her, and she wrote off no problems asked. 
Yeah, and this is out of the Legends a, Game yeah, Over. Yeah, Legends Game Over. Is it a She's Philly or Colt? a little Philly. She is a sweetheart. I mean, honestly, these guys have never really seen anything like this other than when she was a two-year-old down at Ava, and she's never been off her place other than to get caught in. Are you, do you know, are you offering them as a pair and then offering them separate or just separate? Separate. Sometimes they do that yeah. to see which way they bring more, you yeah. know? Yeah, with her being nine months old, we decided to, I would love to see them go together, but, you know, that's in a perfect world. <laughs> I'm a little sentimental, you know? Right. But she, she is. She's a sweetheart. She's in your pocket. She's the first one when you're out to the barn in your business. Yep. My daughter just loves her, but I told JC, I said, honey, you cannot keep them all. Right. I mean, Dad's got three other Foxtrotter broodmares at home. Yep. So, yep. they got to go. So, I'm doing that. I drug my daughter. With, so, she's not lame on that foot? She just... Yeah, she. I think she walks funny on it, but she don't take a lame step. I think it's just, since she had yep. it as a two-year-old, I really think it's just the way she's trained herself to walk. Yeah. I think it, she looks... It, can she gait in this footing, or is it too deep? She she can walk in it. Um, we've really never asked her to do the fox trot. We've, yeah. cause like I said, we bought her, played with her, and then we found that, and we didn't want to hurt her, so we just turned her into a room here. Yeah, sure. So... Okay. But yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll watch her go. Yeah, I'm kind of a train wreck with the two, but I'll do my best. No problem. <laughs> couple things to point out this is the good side of auctions this is how good they can be you notice how this lady very first thing when i walk up she points out the only the only defect the mare has that shows a lot of integrity well i'm just I, the baby's got a really good father and i'm just watching how they travel and you can tell the mare's gentle i'm watching as she goes by and i don't detect any lameness in that hind foot we're gonna check out they called it you know these are our good responsible honest people they they called a defect on her hoof so I'm gonna check it out and see what I what I feel and there's like a dent right here but she's traveling good on it and she shod and she shod really well you can tell whoever shot her knows what they're doing good girl she's sweet about it like they said, you know, for a broodmare, she wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt her a bit. Yeah, she carried no problems. She definitely looks like she's open right now. And that's but they were exposed. But, um, but they're, they're not 100% sure, but she does look like she's open now. Yeah, look at that guy. There's some ponies. Hi, little pony, are you friendly? Hi. Nice, heavy built little pony. Kind of back on his heels. Look at the rump on him though. Holy cow. He's got the barrel of a horse and the yeah. legs of a pony. Yeah. Huh. Good pony. You gotta say, when you see somebody uh, lunging their horse before they get on it, it's always fun to watch because that means it could get western real quick. Is that a mare lease? Yeah. Good look, good built quarter horse. Good built horse. Yeah. My buddy Greg Dully'd like that one. We'll have to watch her go. It is my guess that that is gonna be the high selling horse of the of the sale. You can just tell the, the handle it's got on it and the carrots had. See if this guy runs us over or not. Got his leads down. Gentle and soft. Good built. Yeah, that one that one should bring fifteen to 20,000 I would think let's see how close I am my official guess will be 14 750 this one here is the best horse of the sale without a doubt with the best cowboy without a doubt that's the good thing about auctions we're bitter rivals bidding on the same horse but I'm still gonna help her I'm still gonna help her learn all she needs to learn about this sweet mare I got to watch her if you rode earlier. She was doing really good. Okay. Um, she's got one defect. 
that they called, like the owners called it. So I mean, it's not me telling you she's got a defect. But uh, she's got a big dent right above her coronary band on her back left. I mean, it's a weird looking one. So you want to come in here and I'll let you feel. I don't know. Maybe I can bring her out. Don't let the baby run off, Lee. Kind of got nice confirmation. I like a short barrel like this. <laughs> got good, good hips. She was real good about her feet. If you want to feel right above the coronary band, like run your hand down her, her leg in the front of the hoof. <laughs> feel right in the front of the hoof. Now a little lower. Yeah. Right there. See, feel that dent. This prospective buyer wanted to see the mare, and the owners went around. Since I knew them, I felt comfortable helping her out. Okay, so I'm only going to stop at $5,000 on this one. Uh, that's my game plan. Or I'm just going to start the bidding at five. Uh, YouTube. So, that's... Go for it. Okay, the tack is finally about over. There's the mare now and the baby. That mare is the only one I'm interested in so far. She's not showing any lameness, so uh, she should be selling pretty soon. And I think they're going to, the owners are very honest people and they're good people, I know them. Don't know them well, but I've met them several times over the years. And they're gonna disclaim, as you should, in an auction about the injury to her back left foot and that she's potentially not sound even though she's showing that she's sound right now so that will really impact her price and she may go cheap enough to where I can find her a home I have a couple friends I've called on the phone out in the parking lot that will come and look at her if I can get her bought cheap enough so keep your fingers crossed and let's see the action okay so they're gonna sell the first horse now this is little six month old eight paint filly she's right. very you don't have to, it's very pretty very pretty cool. hit number 3801 grandson of qt poco street six months old 100 percent cow bred apha registered color panel tested five panel negative lethal white negative he is a red done nice stout stud colt smart easy to work with have been working on halter leading loading picking up his feet he's natural like his sire and grandsire he will side pass on a halter. This horse's registered name in registered in the American Page Horse Association will be Jams QTS Dunstreaken. He is a Tobiano Stallion, following date of September 5th of 2022. He is sired by QTS Cita Spots, a black Tobiano by QT Poco Street. He is out of a dam, HR Boldly Smart and Off by Smart Little Rooster by Dito Chick. Here's that pretty paint that was next to the Appaloosa when I first started. Oh yeah. So this is a Gypsy Manor uh, cross, which I was expecting it to bring quite a bit of money because it's got some flashy color. Wow, this one did not bring as much as I expected. But that's the thing about one-off sales. They don't have his regular customer base of flippers. Business, gentle as can be, has all the buttons one can have. Be a 10-year-old gilding. That's a good gilding right there. The first couple horses set a trend, and there ended up being more no sales at this sale than I have ever seen. And this is the horse that I guess would be the high seller of the sale, so let's see how it does. Um, prices are really down at this sale, though, so it may not be as high as I predicted. It's a big, gorgeous, registered three-year-old mare that is riding really good. She's pleasure bred, but have been using her on the ranch and in the stockyards. Will excel at showing the ranch horse shows. Looks at, look at her build in her face. She's definitely a head turner. Meant to be a good AQ, AKA sniff. Three-year-old bay mare that stands 15-1, as pretty as they come. She's gentle, no hump or buck is well on her way for being very broke. She has countless outside miles already being used on the ranch and in the stockyards, despite not necessarily being bred to cow. She's very cowy. She's a great mover and will excel in the show pen as a ranch rider or all around type horse. Snip is 100% sound. 
She'll be an AQHA registered mayor, meant to be good by meant to be by machine made, going back to good machine. On the bottom side, she's out of a, she's a got good karma, keeping it good and back to a good machine again. Papers and transfer in hand. So I don't know quarter horse bloodlines very much, but as beautiful as this horse is, she's probably bred for western pleasure, and I think the cow horses command the most money. They said that this horse has never been inside in a, um, this kind of an area, so he might be acting just a little bit shy, but, but you take him outside and he'll ride off, no problem. People measure their horses very sparingly. They say this horse is 14-3, and if I measured it, it would barely be 14 hands. I've had a lot of 15-2 hand horses that are taller than most people's 16 hand horses. Okay, it's our turn. Get ready for the excitement. A Bay Marifold 410 of 2017. She'll have a small star in the center of her forehead. She's by... Zane's Excalibur, Zane's EB to Zane's Gray out of a Ruby Doe Sister Sundust by Sundust E by Missouri Bandit E. Brownie's easy to catch, easy to handle, will stand quietly for the failure, loads good. We've used her to pony her filly and she's all around good mare. Yeah, that is her baby, it'll sell next. So Brownie's gonna sell first. See how she goes. Things have been going pretty low, so there's a chance. Um, like I said, I have a couple friends that are looking for brood mares, and she would cross great with Bob because there'd be a high percentage of getting up bucks again. And I do like her pedigree, even though she may not be 100 percent sound. If I hadn't checked that ankle, this would be a no-brainer, but now I really have to weigh my options since I've checked it. I also have a lot of small horses right now, and I'd much rather have a large one if I was going to buy a brood mare. Should I? 1,050? Oh, that makes it easy. She's not going to sell it for that. We can go the same way. It'll be a nine-month-old filly. Annie's game over. Registered Missouri Foxtrot Horse Breed Association. Cool little side note is that game over stud is being stood at the guy's house that I'm training. Um, She's by Pearl Legends Game Four, Over, the by outside mare that I'm riding Legend, right by now. Traveler's Jester, out of that mare right there. Annie's Princess Grace by Zane's Caliber by Zane's EB. Be a nine-month-old filly. Lightning is very in-your-pocket type filly. She was easy to break the lead, easy to catch, and seems very trainable. Well, everybody, horses were going pretty low today, and there wasn't a whole lot of gated horses. I did get a new set of spurs and three dressage whips, so it wasn't a total flop, but we decided not to stick around and watch the rest of them because um, there was more no sales than there was sales going on, and there wasn't anything that was very interesting for me to watch. So thanks for tuning in, and hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.